hello welcome to my channel myself SD today I am going to show you how to install PHP MySQL and PHP MyAdmin into the new 18.04 Ubuntu desktop PC so first of all I open my terminal and switch a root user Yeah, now I update my machines. Sorry, not installed, it is update. After that, I'm going to be installed some packages. Yeah, thank you for watching thanks for again please subscribe my channel if you have any related query you can comment out in my video updating the packages The basic thing is that the 18.04 it's a new PHP version it's 7.2.27 or 10 something so it's a new PHP version so and more faster and secure and MySQL also have been installed Yeah, now I'm going to install the PHP MySQL. It means the LAMP server. The command is apt does git LAMP dash server. It will take some time for installation. So after installation, we can see that how many packages are installed.
and installing the MySQL server and also the PHP libraries and all the things Yeah, now we can check the PHP person. Yeah, 7.2.5 and Ubuntu 18.04. You can check that the PHP person and the waiting point. So now we are going to install the PHP MyAdmin. So that's apt get install and that's why so it's going to install the PHP MyAdmin Yeah, we have to select that the Apache 2 and OK. And I, uh, now I have to set the password for the root. Yeah, now we can check the MySQL and also the PHP so we can install for first we can go to that the PHP directory and you can see that one index file is here also I ins create a info.php so it's beautiful us that what PHP versions are installed so now I open my browser sorry it's localhost you can check that the Ubuntu default page for the PHP and also I just created an info file so I run that file so it's showing that the PHP 7.2.5 so now I check that PHP might be in. It's open 
and now I have to check the my SQL login yeah now we can check that already logged into my mysql but here is a thing yeah that is a reason for the security reason we cannot log into the root from that php my admin for the mysql so we have to create a user for first you can check that some commands I already logged into my SQL so I create a user like SD admin identify that password okay so and also the user can all privilege Okay. The password is admin four three two one, and the uh, username admin is the admin. Yeah. Now we can log into that PHP my admin, and we can create the DB and all these things. It's like SD test. Okay, so thank you for watching my channel. Thanks a lot. If you have any query related that to that video, you can comment out in my video. So myself SD. Please subscribe my channel, and thanks a lot. Have a great day. Thank you so much.